Mr. Valentine Jegede, your management lecturer. Welcome to another wonderful episode of SEC Online Tutorials. Well, before we move ahead, don't forget to subscribe and click like on our page. Thank you. Let's go ahead. Now today, um, I will be discussing with us a very interesting topic in leadership. Now, leadership is actually something that is very, very easy, but very complicated. So I would like us to actually pay a close attention and listen to what I have to say. Now, imagine a world without leaders. It's just going to be like driving a car without a driver, or sailing a ship without a captain, or even precise, uh, 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 riding a horse without a rider. Now, what does this mean? When, you, when, when there is a car without a driver, a ship without a captain, it just simply means even if a destination is set, you can never get to your destination without the driver, neither can you get to your destination without the captain on the ship. So, meaning that it is only leaders that can help a group of people or a set of people to get to their uh, destination. Now, the thing is, what do I mean by destinations here? Now, you know, in management, we look at organizations, we look at how they achieve their goals. Now, listen, in management, we set goals. Yes, it is the role of the manager to make sure that the goal is being achieved. So, meaning that, what am I trying to say in the context? What I'm saying is that a manager is a leader. Now, what is leadership? Let me go there now. Leadership is a relationship where an individual influences his or her subordinates in an effective manner in order to motivate them to achieve a particular goal. Now, what do I mean by influence? You know, uh, 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 what it just simply means is that Leadership is a relationship between a person whom is known as the leader, influencing a subordinate, influencing what way? Positive influence, having positive influence in them, boosting their morale. You know what we mean by work morale? When, when, when your morale is high, it means your energy is high, you're positive about what you're doing, and you know what you're doing, you know what you want to achieve, you know how to go about it. And the reason why that would be very, very possible, why your morale would be that high is if you have the right motiv motivation, if you have the right influence. And the person that can provide such an influence is a leader. Now, it is very, very, it is very, very, it is, it is very, very wrong to say that you are a leader and you don't influence your followers. You are not a leader. There is a thin line between a leader and a ruler. Now, a ruler is just a person that, you know, uh, uh, they just do what is, what, 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 or, or they just lead people by their own, uh, what is it called, by their own information and, you know, they don't care how their subordinates feel and, you know, although we could also categorize this kind of people under some types of leaders when we get to types of leadership. Now, but don't forget, leadership entails influence. It entails motivation. Now, as a leader, if you have a goal to achieve, majorly a leader, when they have a goal to achieve, what they just make sure they do is that they tend to motivate. They tend to influence their follower. A leader without influence is no leader. A leader without a way of motivating his follower is also no leader. Now, the big question is, is there a difference between a manager and a leader? Honestly, that question is very critical. You could be a leader, and you could, if you are a leader, it's very, very possible for you to be a manager, but you could also be a manager and never be a leader. It is, it is possible, but it is not possible for you to be a leader and not be a manager. Now, in what sense? Let's explain it this way. Now, you see, 
someone that must have a positive influence on his subordinates or on his followers definitely it means the person knows how to manage human resources it simply means he knows how to and the moment he is able to manage human resources the fact that he can manage the human resources simply means he's going to influence those human resources to help him utilize his material resources so there is no way it is not possible for you to be a leader without being a manager but it's very possible for you to be a manager and not a leader in what sense let me explain it this way like we all know in an in, in an organization when a goal is set it is the objective of the manager to make sure that that goal is achieved now the manager does not necessarily have to motivate it it's not necessary just his own is that he just pass down the order give them every necessary material resources to carry out the goal and you know give them a time frame to achieve the goal he doesn't necessarily need to influence them he doesn't necessarily need to motivate them meaning that the subordinate must be self-motivated must be self-driven to actually help the manager achieve his goal so it is very, very possible for you to be a manager without being a leader and one thing is you see another difference between a manager and a leader is you see a leader is human oriented why a manager is goal oriented let me explain this a leader is people oriented in the sense that a leader believes that motivate these people give them the energy give them the drive then they will achieve the goal for you but a manager believes that all he has to do is to make sure that the goal is achieved whether the people are driven or not just make sure that all resources both human and capital resources they are all together put them together and make sure they work together to achieve your own goal of achieving what the organizational goal meaning that if whether an employee or a subordinate under a manager is is okay is all right is not the concern of the manager what he just wants to know is okay i need you to produce 10 bags of pure water today and you must produce it i don't care what's wrong with you i don't care what's wrong with your family in as much as you're getting paid but a leader when a leader comes is he, whether he's paying the subordinates or not a leader will try to look okay what is wrong with this fellow let me check him out you know talk to them motivate them then those people are energized are are invigorated to actually what achieve the goal for him that is why i said a leader is human oriented why a manager is goal oriented but you might ask yourself which one is more effective between being goal oriented and human oriented it depends on the situation that is on ground it really depends there are some situations that just warrant you to just be that pure manager meaning that you don't have the luxury of time to actually tell or to actually motivate or uh, 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 to motivate or to actually uh, what's it called influence your subordinate to actually achieve that goal but you just have to what use your managerial part to just say do this do this do this you have to move. so it depends on and there are situations whereby you just have to cajole them now let me give some scenarios let's assume that in an organization the manager gets uh, what's it called an order that okay tomorrow i mean in before the week runs out we want you to generate a profit or less less than use profit an income of hundred thousand meaning that for you to generate an income of hundred thousand you must produce five thousand units of the product your firm is producing so therefore you know you don't have the time to start scheduling them that uh, start stalking them in start trying to find out what is wrong with them because you have a time frame which is very short for you to actually achieve that goal so therefore you just call everybody production manager get this running we have to achieve this we have to produce so so number of output within now and now and you know everybody would have to wake you have to, everybody would just have to wake up and work out towards achieving that goal but you know when i when when you are told that okay we want to achieve or want to reach out to uh or let's say we want um we want to make sure that 
our product is like the top 10 uh, product out there you know you just have to call the marketing team you know encourage them give them what's it called the guideline give them the tutorial and you know even to even motivate them to actually go to, to, as far as talking out you can also follow them out you know talk with the customers get their this thing and you know go back review their comments you know work together with your marketing team and see how you could improve your product that's how a leader does by doing so you are not just helping achieve the goal you are also motivating your followers your follow if, you, if your followers will see you doing this that our guys even leaving the office to go and make sure that we achieve this then we also we have to fasten our, our, our belt and actually make sure that we help him achieve these goals now you see uh, a leader that has a positive influence on his followers does not necessarily need to give them a material means of motivation to actually help him achieve its goal, although it's very, very necessary. Well, I will stop there today on leadership. When next we meet, we'll be talking about characteristics of a leader and type of leaders. So, with that said and done, see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and like our page. See you next time. Thank you.